Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil, and in this Vue.js Stripped tutorial, I want to introduce props to you. So these are the points of this video. First of all, we will learn what are the props, how we can pass the data from uh, one component to another component, and what kind of data we can pass with the props. We will also cover some important interview question related to props in this video. Guys, one more thing, we already covered the basic things about props in the previous video. If you want to jump this video, then you can jump. But if you want to learn some detailed things about the props, then you can continue with this video, right? And uh, before just starting with this video, I want to share some information with you about uh, Domain Racer. So if you are looking to purchase domain name and hosting, then you can purchase it with the Domain Racer. The reason is they will provide you hosting with 59 rupees per month and they also provide you light speed technology ssd disk free ssd certification and much more here you can see that they provide all kind of domains with a reasonable price 60 percent off on the ssd hosting right and ssd hosting is really really fast so go for it now let's get get back to the our video so the first question is what are the probes so probes are basically used to send the data or share the data from one component to another component some guys actually thinking that we can pass the data from parent to child component only with the help of probes actually not even you can pass the data from child to parent also or in the siblings component also right and even the nested component also right so these are the basic definition to sharing the data between components is basically done with the probes so how we can pass the data for that let's uh, just uh, make a practical thing so let me just uh, remove these deleted components come back here and let me create a two components why two because i want to show you things in detail so that we can learn that how we can send the data in the two components and all so just uh, make a component like this student dot view after that let me create one more like teacher dot view after that let me just uh, add some templates and some basic basic things let's say template is done now add a script close the script also and uh, now let let's put here some h2 tags close h2 tags and just right here let's say student uh, name is and uh, name we will pass from our parent component with the help of props right so we can also remove this thing now just write here export default name you can put any name let's say student like this and now go to the home and uh, import on your home component import student from student dot view and now let's register your component inside the component property components and we must have to choose a colon here after that we can simply put here student and let's use it like this now same thing we can do with the teacher component also let's do that put here teacher and I change the name of this component also after that we can import it as we are importing student so put here teacher from teacher component we can uh, register it and again we can use teacher component as a tag so let me check the output so is it everything is working fine yep everything is working fine so now let's put the name but we have to pass this name dynamically or you can say that as a props so let me put a student name let's say anil from home component we just need to do that one only that things only now let's go to the student and first of all let's use here props property put here a name and it can be a string type and now let's simply put here name 
and now let's see student name is anil that's great this is working fine same thing you can do with the teacher also so with that way we can pass the teacher and student name and from here we can also pass a teacher name let's say peter both are working fine so uh, now how you can um, send the this is basically a static data dynamic data for that let me define here data return and uh, here we can simply put here name and let's say name is uh, bruce or something and from here if you try to pass your name then basically it will not work but if you can just simply put here colon then it will work and now you can see that we got a error so let me just put a comma here and now this is working fine with the bruce and same thing we can do with the teacher also even if we if we just put here different properties here then it will work as a different property but now in the both component we have a bruce name so this is the way that how we can pass the uh, dynamic data and we can also pass here um, like uh, array object string number whatever you want you can pass with it even function also right so so we are talking about some interview question so there is a first interview question can be what are the props we already answer it what data you can pass with the props you can pass any kind of data even object function array string even null value you can pass right if you want but we never do it right and uh, one more interview question which is can we pass data from child to parent component so here what we are what we are doing actually we are passing data from parent to child component but can we do it vice versa like sending data from child to parent yes we can do it but uh, this is the answer but how we can do it we will learn in the next video because that topic need a separate video it will take around uh, five to six minutes to do that but yes this is a very basic topic and we can easily learn but we will learn this tomorrow in the next video so if you have still any, any kind of question you can ask, ask in the comment box bye bye take care